Good morning, Red Hawks. Today is Thursday, November 8th. I'm Kirsten Whitlock. And I'm Sarah Comte. And welcome to Today at the Creek. Please stand for the pledge, followed by the moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Red Hawks. I'm Aiden Von Lowe. Today in history, let's see what happened on November 8th. In 1895, German scientists discover x-rays. In 1900, Margaret Michelle is born. In 1960, John F. Kennedy is elected president. Today is also National Cappuccino Day, and how so happy birthday to Melissa LaDuke. Now back with Kirsten So today's announcements. Governor's school applications are due to your counselor no later than November 16th. Today is the last day to order your nothing bun cakes from the library. If you want one in time for Thanksgiving, see someone in the library. Now to weather with Axon Jackson. Hey Red Hawks, Axon Jackson here with the weather around the creek. Today there will be a high of 56 and a low of 43. After school it will be 53. It will be cloudy. Tomorrow there will be a high of 49 and a low of 27. There will be morning rain. Now back to Kirsten and Sarah. We are proud to introduce the winners of the 2018 Hawkwalk Halloween costume party. If you see your costume, see Mr. Bissinger in room 418 for your trophy. Hey Red Hawks, here are the winners from the Hawkwalk costume competition. The most original costume was won by Haley Hargrove with I Woke Up Like This. The scariest costume was won by Victoria Harrison with Carrie. The funniest costume was Savannah Sawyer and Star Bright with I Sleep for a Living. The most creative character costume was won by Grant and Grace Davis with Napoleon Dynamite and Kip. The best duo was Alex Phoenix and Anna Burns with The Joker and Harley Quinn. And the best group was won by Shakira Cooper, Anita Rucker, Alani Gonzalez, and Karina Munez. Stewart's Creek is hosting its third annual Thanks for Giving Week here at the Creek from November 12th through the 16th. ICU classes will be collecting canned goods for our local Smyrna Food Bank. On Friday the 16th, we will count the cans in the class with the highest giving percentage will receive a pizza party. And now for the Students Creek Sports Report with Mac Maddox and Kevin. Good morning, Red Hawks. I'm Maddox. And I'm Kevin. And welcome to your Students Creek Sports Report. The Tennessee Vols take on the Kentucky Wildcats on the field this Saturday as they look to pick up another win. Vanderbilt Commodores will take on the Missouri Tigers this Saturday as they look to win their second conference game in a row. The MTSU Blue Raiders will play the UTEP Miners this Saturday as they look to win. The Vols basketball team took down the Lenore Ryan Bears in their first game of the season. They take on the Louisiana Lafayette Raging Cajuns tomorrow. Tip-off is at 6. Vanderbilt's basketball team also won their first game of the season as they took down the Winthrop Eagles. Darius Garland dropped 24 points in his first game as a Commodore. MTSU defeated the Leafs McCray Bobcats in their first game on Tuesday. They will take on Milligan tomorrow at 11. The Duke Blue Devils absolutely demolished the number 2 Kentucky Wildcats on Tuesday with a score of 118 and 84. Duke's freshmen Zion Williamson, R.J. Barrett, Cam Reddish, and Trey Jones combined for 89, five points more than Kentucky's final score. The Memphis Grizzlies took on the Denver Nuggets on the court last night and won. The Grizzlies will face the Philadelphia 76ers next this Saturday. The National Predators faced the Colorado Avalanche on the ice last night and took home the win. The Predators look to extend their four-game winning streak as they take on the Dallas Stars next this Saturday. The Tennessee Titans finally won a game this past Monday as they took down the Dallas Cowboys 28-14. And after picking off one of the most overrated quarterbacks in the league, Kevin Byard channeled his inner Terrell Owens and celebrated at the midfield star. Our SCHS basketball team will be hosting a community night tonight from 5 to 9 p.m. Make sure to come out and enjoy some Storrs Creek basketball. Now back to Kirsten and Sarah. Our sixth annual host the holiday marketplace will be held on November 17th from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. If you are interested in having a booth of your own, we are still accepting vendor requests. Track trials have been changed to Saturday, November 17th. Stay tuned for more information. Check us out on Twitter and YouTube at Stewart's Creek Video. That's all for today at the Creek. Have a great day and remember we are one team. team.